Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we have a Ghost of Antietam event for you. The first round here is Eastwood Skirmish, followed by our second map, which is the Piper Farm. Thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you'd like to support, go to the link in the description where you can get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regimen on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. Our teams for today, on the Confederate side, you have the 7th Louisiana, Archer's Brigade, 7th South Carolina, 3rd Kentucky, 20th Georgia, 27th South Carolina, and the Stonewall Brigade, Midwest Brigade, swap sides from USA to CSA, very appreciative of that. But the Union side, you got 5th Corps, 4th New Jersey, Mid uh, Midwest Brigade on CSA side, 2nd United States Sharpshooters, 1st Ohio, and the 3rd United States Horse Artillery. Numbers-wise today, it's about a 240-man server. In balance is 7 in favor of the CSA side. Union has artillery, Confederate Stone, Union having 11 guys on it. So, in balance is really, what is it, uh, 17 guys, which is a big amount right now. So... Uh, Frontline reporters today, on the top left side of your screen, uh, for the CSA perspective, you have Kramer from the 7th Louisiana, and then on the top right, you have Snow Cactus from the 65th Illinois. Very appreciative of both of those guys being able to give us their view, as we don't always get to see what goes on on the ground. So, starting off with this round, you do have aggressive movement towards both sides here. Uh, move it from 5th Corps towards the center spot here right now. Uh, with their artillery behind. On the left side of the map, you'll see Union like to push along this side, especially with the Sharps. Uh, you have the second U.S. Sharps there, but they don't have the 42nd. It looks like 65th Illinois here is with the Sharps. So we cut down to Snow Cactus's view here. Uh, you can see everything they're seeing down there. So... CSA doing a little traditional defense, at, kind of though. They're really letting the Union get up on their flank right now. You can't let the Union get up on your flank, which will be a big part of this. So, CSA really opting to hold the top side of the house right now. You got the whole CSA team here. And again, as I was just saying, you can't let the Union team get on your flank. It's like with any map, when you're defending, you don't want your enemy to get around on your side and behind. So, we'll see what the Union does to try to take advantage of this. They can hold the corner. They can try to shoot upward at the CSA, which is obviously a good strategy. But they can also charge up at the CSA, which would be very good for them. I'm pretty sure these guys get bucking ball. So, they could deal a lot of damage. The only group really preventing this is the 4th New Jersey. And that's just going to be kind of tricky. So... Going back to the top of the hillside here. Some CSA are opting to get pretty close, these 4th Texas yep, guys. Right I don't down. like that they're getting so close to the Union lines right now. The, the, the problem with this is that you're allowing the Union to kill you at almost point-blank range. Although, they might not be able to see you that well. But if they start killing you, you're going to be dying and skirmishing it out of line. And... As CSA, you can't really afford that, even if we're on a higher server, getting up to now 250. But I uh, can kind of see it from the CSA's view on the top of the hill. Looks like they're looking down the hillside right now, starting to move men to take shots at the USA team. Uh, that is the Midwest Brigade, uh, 3rd Kentucky. I see 7th Tennessee as well. Starting to do that, and Union is opting to move into the woods right now, which is very good. It can be very hard for the CSA to thwart the Union out of those woods. Just like any woods map, it's very chaotic and can be difficult, especially for a defender when you're concerned on tickets. It actually looks like they're capping point. First South Carolina or his rifles starting to shoot at the artillery counter battery, if you want to call it that. I heard Tall Gray call it that last year. So, right over there to the south, south and it looks like these guys are aiming up to the top of the hill. So, Fourth New Jersey is contesting on point, but they're just dying and skirmishing out of line. And we'll see if CSA lets them cap. It looks like they're going to cap regardless of what's happening. And it looks like Union opting not to cap. So, 
poor poor mistakes on part of the union there for capping. It's not the end of the world, right? Uh, both sides are similar tickets. Union's down a little, but regardless of what happens here, it's going to force a lot of engagement. It's going to bring that black timer down. Everyone's going to lose tickets. So this isn't a bad cap, but it isn't great. The biggest concern for Union being that it might give the CSA a chance to retake these positions. As, as Union, you can't have that. So Union's pulling off the point right away. They want CSA to recap right away. You have Midwest Brigade who bounced over. Uh, they are retaking that point right now. And that's what you need to do as the defending team. If the attackers capture the point of contention, your job as a defending team, now consider the attackers, you need to retake that point as quickly as possible. Because, as I was mentioning earlier, or a moment ago rather, if the attacking team captures the point, Everyone's going to be losing tickets and that black timer is not going to be going down, which is what you want as defender. Your job is to get that black timer to zero. Meaning you need to keep it moving, meaning you need to retake the point. So We'll see how Union reacts on the right flank as they let the CSA retake the point. Uh, we'll see if they move up on the snake fence or try to go into the woods again. We'll see if CSA wants to try to contest the point. And look at that. They retook the point. Union's actually down on tickets right now. Union's starting to make a slow approach down the snake fence. And Union actually have a gun rolled up all the way over here. I don't think I've seen that before. Move it up. Move it up. Fire in advance. Fire in advance. boy. Move it up a little bit. So Union just trying to get down that fence, and that could be where they're taking a lot of casualties. I mean, let's look here. Uh, they're not crouching. Granted, they are moving. A couple of guys are crouching here, and those are going to kill you dumb tickets. So Union on the far side. Looks like some going into the woods, some... Uh, moving towards the center, you got 8th Connecticut just popping shots. A little risk of crossfire, and I don't like this. 1st uh, South Carolina Rifles and 4th Texas tonight have been playing really far forward and aggressive for CSA. The question I have is, what is the strategic advantage of having 5 CSA guys on these rocks? I mean, they're killing some arty guys here. Looks like they're actually hitting their shots. So... But regardless, what does that provide? Sure, you're getting a couple of kills, but you're risking so much in terms of you losing tickets. Uh, and also, that's just five guys away from your team's charge. Granted, CSA outnumber Union by a lot on infantry. Uh, again, 10 men in balance here. When you consider 11 on artillery, it's 21. So... So, Kramer uh, crashed with the, the game, so that's why his stream was out for a moment. We got Twist out, Defers out with LA. Very appreciative of both of them, nonetheless, for wanting to give us that. So, looks like that Union group moved. We saw them moving into the woods, and we just saw them come back. Looks like they're holding up on the snake fence, getting up some nice flanking shots on the CSA. They're not really going to be able to hit these guys along the fence line just because these guys are more in a defilade. If we look from this POV over here, you can't even see the course. So, they're more engaging with the CSA here. And if the CSA kind of want to avoid taking too many casualties, they can always pull back here, which you see a lot of them doing right now. So... And it's been really fascinating because in the past week, a week and a half, you've really seen the CSA start to try to hold this corner here. And then you got more CSA rolling up. I mean, you got 7th LA running up, taking shots, uh, and then running back almost instantly towards the wall there. So, I, I 
It's, I don't know, it's just, CSA going up and over there, it's a little, it's a little risky in my opinion, it's just, uh, it's all, it's all a ticket game, and all the little stuff adds up, which is why I'm just harping on the little things here, because, although CSA's doing very well on the ticket count right now, I mean, they're up by, what, a fourth of morale stage? You just, as CSA, you don't want to make too many mistakes, because... What tends to happen is teams will have out of lines here and there and all those little instances will add up to a big mountain of tickets lost. And teams will be like, well, how do we lose all these tickets? Well, I don't so it. it's nice to see a lot of the CSA still holding up in formation and whatnot. I mean, first South Carolina really far up here, which again, I can't, I, I do think it's a risk, but whatever the CSA is doing is working. Uh, I mean, they're gaining tickets on Union on this shootout, which you really don't see a whole lot. Generally, shootouts are one-to-one -one trade, but it kind of makes sense a little bit when you look on this side. Union is all clumped up in one tiny area here. If you're a CSA guy that's here, you have to just shoot down the fence line, and you're more than likely getting ahead. Whereas the Union, CSA, are very somewhat thinly, not really, uh, spread out on this fence line. So CSA is spread out, and they're shooting into one tiny area. Union's very together and shooting towards a wide array, uh, which can lead to a lot of misses. So that's probably why we're seeing the ticket imbalance as it is, especially with a lot of the Union guys, or at least the few that are crouching. Those skirmishing deaths are going to add up. Get ready, second. Get ready. He's Connecticut go. All right, second. Let's go. Let's go. At the sprint. Go, everybody, charge! Come on, let's go. Go, go. So Union, they're just gonna bonsai it in here. We'll see if the guys down on the corn go. It looks like they're. It looks like they're starting to move up, but are they charging? That's the different question. Ooh, CSA getting hard. You can see that on the front line view up top, but. Here goes Union. They're slamming into this uh, corner spot right now. They're playing very aggressive. So, is fifth court charging on the bottom side? They are. And this is what you needed to do as Union. It maybe just took some time for them to communicate this, but... CSA... Uh, actually, Union... CSA starting to collapse. CSA should win this. They have the infantry numbers on Union by a considerable amount. I mean, 20-some guys. You've got to be dominating these charges. I don't know if CSA is buck and ball or not, but... It looks like Union's been beaten back. And the tickets appear to have gotten closer. Uh, these Union guys just got to get their flag and get out. They can't be sitting around. Because the thing is, right, at the end of charges, everything spreads out. Uh, if you don't know, uh, when you're standing by a lot of your guys, you die in formation. Your team loses one ticket. But when you're by yourself, you can die in skirmishing or out of lion like that guy did. And you lose three tickets if you're in skirmishing. Or if you're way by yourself, you lose five, if it's, uh, five tickets for your team. So as these charges, towards the end of them, they really spread out. Guys kind of linger, they die out of line, generally good for the attackers, but when you're retreating like that as the attackers, you can't can't be doing that, especially when you're down this many tickets. So, great hold from CSA. It's not really surprising when, again, you consider this inbounds are up to 260. Now, look at this. It is a 14-man inbounds with 11 on artillery. So, 25-man inbounds. 25 man in balance that is excessive in terms of in balance when you just look at the infantry alone it's 15 or 14 man in balance which is kind of big on its own 15 is 15 generally is that line between where once it's over 15 it's unsustainable 
you're not going to win. But when you put 11 guys on artillery, and we've seen them hit a few shots, but have they been consequential? No. I think they would have been much better on infantry based on what we've seen so far. I mean, they've had, they have these guns out here, but... I think Union definitely needs to change the strategy. If it's not working, you're pulling even further back on the left side. Maybe they're going to loop around on this right side, and that's what they should do. Half the point. Uh, sure, you're down on tickets, but force the CSA to come out of their entrenched defensive position to retake the point and contest it. Uh, you saw Union cap the point from this snake fence here. This is a great spot to hold, and if CSA tries to retake the point, they'll have to come down from a completely open area. But communicating that as a team can be difficult, and we'll see what the Union decides to do in the meantime. Because the only way you're going to get CSA into ground of your choosing is if you cap that point. If uh, I, I don't like this, like, what's the purpose of these guys being back here? 19th Georgia now. What's the point of being back here? You just don't want CSA to lose a big ticket lead because of something. Just a lot of guys off on their own. I mean, that imbalance is 15 guys. Well, I mean, you have 10 some guys here. Yeah, you just can't have that. So, Union shifting over to. Do they even see this guy? Hello, my friend. How are you doing today? You are Yo, you out of that? line, and I am also out of line. Sorry, I'm not out of line anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They, um, I'm pretty sure they have a rule where if you're out of line, you can't kill anybody because you're considered scouting at that point. So that's why the, the that comment was made. So more Union shifting over to the right. I think this is the original group we saw over on this right side, just 5th Corps mostly. Um, First Ohio's over here as well. So... More CSA starting to shift over. Uh, we'll see how deep these guys go. It's only a few. It's mid-bus brigade. Looks like they're just holding on point for now. But they shouldn't push up. You got a great ticket lead. And this ticket lead is kind of crazy for Eastwood Skirmish. Union contesting, but a CSA charging down the side here. It looks like they're just inching their way. 20th Georgia... Uh, 27th Virginia, part of Stonewall Brigade. Looks like they're just getting closer and closer to these Union guys. Uh, they are the Sharps, I think. So, oh, did Midwest Brigade charge that corner? If they, uh, there's a couple of them there, but I, they might have charged that or just gotten completely shot up. I mean, I see a couple dead bodies here, but you got 5th Corps holding down the corner. They're capping point right now. And this is what you have to do. Now, I think the Sharps need to roll down this side of the hill as well. I mean, you got a lot of Union in the woods side right now. Remember, they don't have a steam chat, so it's not like they can communicate across the map, which obviously makes it more difficult. And you see CSA some shifting over. It looks like they're just more shifting to get some shots on the Union side. CSA go down to engage at a perfect time, so that counterattack's going to be 12 minutes instead of 20 minutes. And so we'll see what the CSA decides to do at this point of the match. Similar to last time, they need to retake this point quickly. You're up by half a morale stage. You need that black timer ticking. Granted, it's not the end of the world. They can always push Union in the final push. But we'll see what they do. They got some time. Union's looks like Union's trying to contest this, which is really smart. That's what you have to do. You got a good chunk of fifth core here. More 5th Corps kind of holding off on the right here. 
And then I saw some more on the back side. The Second U.S. Sharps are first Ohio. Looks like they're just holding the rear right now. And CSA still have not moved out. I mean, they got all four flags together. Let's see, are they talking anything? So some CSA starting to move well. towards the point. Union off on the left side of your screen. 20th Georgia Midwest Brigade trying to make a move for the point. I don't know if they're capping point, but this is going to drain your tickets of CSA. Uh, they have cover behind the rocks, which will allow them to obviously not being hit as much. But again, if they get hit, they're being shot at from multiple sides right now. Or if they get charged out, uh, not be good. And it looks like the 8th Connecticut Cab here. These are going to get closer charge. It looks like they're going to charge in here. And I like this from Union. A fair amount of these guys are crouching still. Some guys still crouching. What a charge there. And we'll see if they keep going or not. I don't think they should. Just stay back. You lost the charge last time. But it looks like they're going to go in again. I just, when you have the point capped in the CSA are the guys that need to take the point in a certain amount of time. I don't think you try to charge them out. But that's what they're doing nonetheless. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it looks like CSA is going to hold this. No, all of Union didn't go in. Maybe only half went in. And you want to talk about a chance for the Union to go down even more tickets? Here we go. Union's about to go down to take losses. And CSA is responding accordingly. You do have the 65th and 14th guys going around the flank, but they might get some out of line. But this is what you need to do with CSA. If Union is going to, if Union's going to charge half their team at you and you wipe them and you have a large force like the CSA does, retake that point. And they're also kind of smart for trying to chase on the flag. He's going to try to get that flag. I don't think they're going to get it. Union failed to take that. And Confederates, they're still trying to hold in that corner. They have a lot of guys on that rock. They must be capping from those rocks if they're holding there. Uh, with a lot of guys. No, that's that all I can yeah, see. That was amazing. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we fucked him up. <laughs> oh, shit. Federal's on the right. You guys look a little confused. They're going in the right direction. You got more CSA on the rock, and it looks like that rock does mean they're on cap because that point's heading in favor of the CSA. 20th Georgia, Stonewall Brigade, putting themselves more on the point. We'll see if Union holds this. I think Union should just hold the spot. Don't risk charging out and losing badly like you did, especially when you have more CSA rolling down from the top of the hill. Hold the spot. If they cap, that's fine. At least you're engaging with them in closer range with the buck and ball that you have. So, Union reinforcements has got to get here and reinforcements. Union artillery in the center. We haven't really looked over here. Looks like they got two, three caissons uh, with two artillery. And you might think i don't know i don't know if the artillery is focused on the top but they got prime targets to the right i think a lot better than what they got on the left but that is just the top of a defilade there and those are just hard shots to hit at least consistently Hey, make sure it says defending. Shift down right. Make sure it says defending. Shift down right. Shift right. Make sure it says defending. You heard him. You can even, even suck it on the uh, yeah, get, that flag. get that flag. Get the flag up. Get the flag and up. And CSA is dwindling Union down. I mean, they're not picking up that flag. There you go. Good job, Mr. Blue Eye Devil. Keep it up. 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 
So CSA retake the point. I hear North looks like they're going to fall back and reform. They've taken a beating, and the rest of Union guys are pouring down right now. Ticket gap is still about a fourth of a morale stage right now. And CSA pull off to the top of the hill. CSA is playing this very well right now. As Union, I think you just got to do the same thing. Keep that going. Because charging the CSA is not working. You can't draw them into the woods by going... In. That was a great already shot. Maybe my comment about uh, it being hard shot is uh, wrong. Maybe it's just good shot in general. So, and you can see what CSA is viewing down the line right now as they're just taking shots at the Union sharps over there. Uh, similarly, you got Union sharps shooting back at them. So it's a it's a contest. So some Union guys are holding in that corner. Are they supposed to be or not? I don't know. It's a mix of groups. But uh, for South Carolina, what are you doing out here? I don't like this. You have a ticket lead. Why throw it away like this? Maybe they got a couple Union kills, but they all died out of line and whatnot when they were in skirmishing. Yeah, with the star, boys, with the star. And, like, what is 4th New Jersey now doing? I don't know. I mean, it's... These tiny groups for CSA that are just going out and doing their own thing, you can't be doing that. It's just really bad for your tickets, especially when you have a lead on Eastwood Skirmishes CSA, which is... Rare. Especially in today's blob meta where the flags respawn everybody so quick to where you need to charge as a bigger blob in order to do some significant damage. So Union split off into two or so groups right now. Uh, one on the right side, they're not on point. See those uh, CSA guys uh, on the back side, they're, they're capping point. These two guys here are not capping. You need at least three guys to be capping or in skirmishing. Behind, behind. But like, Northwest. Holy cow. Bucking ball just killed like two or three of those guys in one shot. At least I didn't think that many Union guys shot there. So, Union starting to retake the point again. Uh, you got the 5th Alabama, 20th Georgia shifting down the hillside right now. They're going to take some shots. Try to get a better angle on the Union as they cap points. CSA is taking losses, and I love this cap from Union. Union is still in a good spot to win the game despite them being down on tickets. They've stayed about, they really were down on tickets at the beginning, and they slowly crawled back to making it more of an even even game and I think partially that's just because of the cap game that's going on they're forcing the CSA out of their entrenched position and dealing a fair amount of damage to them Union cap seven minutes on that clock and we'll have to see the CSA come down the hill again now hopefully Union as a entire team outside of the guys up here they should just focus on keeping this point capped Y'all charged in and got wiped five minutes ago. I, I hate to be this harsh, but you can't be doing this. It's, it's just, ah. Uh, the out of lines are killing me. They're getting a couple kills, and not the reason why the CSA is up by so many tickets, so. Especially in defense when you can't have a steam chat and everyone talks. I think it's very important for everyone to kind of be around each other. I can get if a defensive team is split up into two big groups. When you have tiny groups going around, you can't. CSA moving down the top of the hill. Looks like they're trying to cap. Retake the point. And Union just needs to keep this up. Now, uh, 
if you don't know, oh, there's charging over here. Snow cactus getting out there with the flag. Uh, so seven Tennessee guys. Actually, what's fascinating is look at the shadow on the bottom left. You don't see the actual flag waving around. You just see the stick. It's uh, interesting. So. I, I like what Union's doing. All those guys are on point, or pretty much on point. And if they hold this, they win. If they don't hold it, there's going to be a lot of charging because it's going to be very hard to push Union out. Sure, they might be able to outshoot them. We saw it last time, but Union has a lot more guys there than before, and they're a lot more spread out. 20th Georgia, 7th LA, starting to shift down the hill right now to get into combat range. Um, no, we might have to charge. We should have the numbers now if we want to go in. Four Texas! And you can hear we got the numbers of charge, and I mean, that's the thing, right? You just saw 7th LA. They just got completely torn up right there. Uh, 27th Virginia is trying to go around the left. They got shot once, and they're retreating. CSA starting to move in, 4th Texas, 7th Tennessee, they are trying. They have to charge in to take this point because of how strong of a force Union has. Remember though, they can't see what we see, they don't know how many Union are here. They might know just because there's not a lot of Union engaged on top of the hill. A lot of CSA starting to move in now. Four minutes on that clock, Union can just outright win the game right now. And... For such a poor start, Union is playing this very well. Good artillery shot. That one overshot by a little bit, but it did kill one guy because that ball went right through somebody. And the Union team is just completely shooting up. And look at the tickets. They're almost even now. CSA came in very piecemeal, very... Very spread out, and the Union was able to defeat him in detail and drive their tickets down. So Union reacting accordingly. Uh, looking up at the top of the hill, looks like the rest of the CSA guys that were up there are starting to move down. A lot of guys from spawn moving up to those logs, and I think Union's going to try to charge them out here. And Union wiped that. They were the Union is playing this so well for how bad of a first half they had. I mean, this is a this is very well done. If I get the point that CSA was the spot CSA was at was a very good defensive position, and you can see that in the tickets. But if Union's like, okay, if you're just not going to defend the point in this side of the map, we're just going to take it, can't force you into a place you don't want to be in. Because this spot for CSA really sucks, and it's very obvious to tell, but it's a lot easier for CSA to try to hold along the force line here. But obviously that comes with its own risk, because if Union just spawns like charges into you, you only get a split second to react with that corn blocking a lot of the uh, visibility within it. That shot hit the tree, and you saw all these guys just shake a little, but... What the heck? You would have thought artillery would do a little more damage. Who knows? Who knows? Two minutes left on that gold timer. CSA hits breaking. Union. In the time that Union's lost, like fourth of a morale stage, CSA's gone down half to, if not three fourths of a morale stage. And you got some 8th Connecticut Cav guys or Company D, it looks like. Uh, they're just engaging the CSA as a trickle. And where's the CSA team? Did they keep their flags back here? Ah, that explains it. Because I've always been looking over here, but the flags are over here. They're starting to position them up. The Sharps are trying to take this corner. Uh, they'll get some nice kills. Uh, but you got the whole CSA team having to collapse on point now as they are frantically trying to hold this point, or retake it, rather. One minute left on the clock for Gold Timer. And you hear charge the corner of the corn. That's what I'm hearing in one of the perspectives. And you got some CSA starting to go in, but this is such a desperate move. Here they come, here they come. 
It's not going to be very well communicated. Uh, it's going to take a second. But... And you can see what the CSA's got. They're just suppressed as heck. 30 seconds left on that clock. And some unions starting to charge this out. This charge is going to be big. It's a little risky for union. You have the numbers on point. Don't want to charge out and lose all of them. Are they all charging? Nope. Oh, yeah, now they are. 15 seconds left. And I think Union's going to take this. If CSA has more bodies and the clock hits zero, then we'll get an overtime. But it is looking like Union's going to win. That was a master class of the second half from the Union team. What a win from them. And look at the tickets, too. CSA is almost on the last stand, and Union still hasn't hit breaking. That is incredible. That was a master class of a performance from the Union in the second half. Um, I really like what CSA did to start the game. Union went down a traditional route, and CSA prepared very well for it. But Union, as any good team does, they reacted accordingly and did a phenomenal job positioning themselves, and CSA couldn't respond. I think Union eventually figured it out uh, because Union did cap two times. Uh, yeah, the, the first time they capped when they were on this corner, they charged up at the CSA, which that was a dumb decision. However, uh, they didn't do it the second time. They adapted, they improved, and I think that was very huge. CSA just took way too long trying to retake the point. They didn't try to outflank the Union through the woods. Union just played that well, and CSA didn't react. So props to Union. Very well done. Good match of Eastwood Skirmish, and we're off to see you in round number two very shortly. All righty, here we are with round number two. Server pop still 250. The sides are balanced. Fourth New Jersey swapped back over to the Union side. I forgot to mention that they switched sides as well. So, again, thanks, Fourth New Jersey, for switching over to USA. But... Numbers are balanced. Artillery-wise, CSA has 18. The Union has 13. So, infantry-wise, numbers are extremely balanced for this. Uh, briefly here, Union artillery, you have them located on this side. You got the roulette lane guns and then some more guns uh, by the little cabin there. CSA guns, you have some in the open field on the right, some inside the orchard. Union have done this in two ways. Generally, they either go down the left side or down the right they go down the right, they take that stone wall there and kind of push down to the artillery here and then hit the orchard. Or they could try to push left through the orchard and hit around this side. Regardless, the end destination is right there. Which what? I, I'm not a big fan of this at all. I, again, I think the last round, Union was down by 20 some, 20, 25 guys infantry. That was a very impressive win from them. Very impressive, so. Union wasting no time, starting to go down the left side here. And CSA as a team is very spread out, especially when you start to consider artillery. And look at that, the artillery, they're not reacting. That, what was that shot? It hit two feet in front of the gun. And Union already starting to have close engagements with the CSA here, which this is what you want as a Union. More reinforcements rolling up. All of 5th Corps, the whole Union team is rushing up here except for a few, which they probably took out those first South Carolina guys. But holy cow, the Union much more prepared this time around. Actually, not more prepared, but their first plan is working a lot better than what it did for last round. So, we'll see how CSA responds. Uh, again, as a defender... You want to kind of avoid ticket loss, and you can't let the Union get too deep into your line. And I, I'm loving what the Union has played very well tonight. They locked in in the middle of that first round, and uh, since then they've been playing very well. Protect our friends here. We'll see if the Union pushes up and tries to charge the corner here. But, I mean, you got view from CSA on that fence line. Looks like they're about to pull back onto the stone wall. I mean, this is just... That was not what I wanted to hit. Anyways, uh, you got the Union view here. Uh, had a little jump scare of that outro for you. So, video's not over yet, though. <laughs> so, uh, we're three minutes into the fighting. Because remember, they start at 42. 
and Union already up by a little bit of tickets. Now, it'll be intriguing to see what the Union wants to do at this point. They've taken a lot of ground, and CSA has reacted accordingly using the stone wall as defense as the hail. They've really stretched out their line over here as well. And if Union ever tries to push these guys, they can just retreat right away. So CSA reacting perfectly fine. You'll feel it out. Hurrah, hurrah. Yeah, give you that. Hurrah. Keep up the independent, boys. And uh, let's see, you have a couple CSA. Looks like the artillery guys are just sitting here. And this is just wasted manpower right now. I get they want to get back on the guns, but they should go over there if they want to use the guns, if anything, or swap the infantry. But it's just one man's take on it. Yep, um, hell, boys. Look at that flag coming from the southwest. So, you do have some union pushing this side. It's first Ohio and fourth New Jersey. Uh, they're focusing on a lot of CSA, and they really rolled those guns up pretty close for the CSA. See how good the shot is about the fire. Yeah, that guy died. He was gonna fire. Second guy's rolling up. Yes. Grabs the pin. Oh, CSA's rolling up on the right. That shot went really short. And CSA trying to find some way to keep the tickets at least balanced. They're gonna charge through here, and they outnumber the Union, so. I don't mind this charge as much. Uh, and tickets are even overall. We'll see how far they go. Hopefully they don't, oh, they don't overextend. You got a fair amount of union over here. Uh, and some CSA are actually shifting around the right side here. I'm intrigued to see where the 20th Georgia goes. Because over here can just be risky. You're separating yourself from your team union. They can charge you, it might be a little out of bounds for them, but CSA are still kind of keeping this corner. The stone wall, which if they're on the left side of the stone wall, they're out of bounds. The charging boys, brace, brace, northwest, northwest. Brace. Got These guys got a lot of kills for what they should have. Holy cow. So, okay, I can appreciate what CSA... They're holding pretty far back. I, I've seen sometimes, especially in pubs, where CSA guys will roll up to these caissons here and engage Union almost point blank, and it's like, that's not smart. So, what do we have here? Union, with some of their artillery guys, are rolling the guns backwards. Now, where will they put them? I don't know. You know, a lot of Union kind of holding back. It looks like Union's pulling off as CSA is starting to inch their way in the lead with tickets. So we'll see if CSA tries to... Oh, those two guys just got obliterated. I think those were team kills too. <laughs> but they do get one gun away. Yeah, first H boys, climb up on this cannon. So we're actually gonna shoot me out of the cannon. I'm gonna go up there and break the gates off. That's a Rambo. How's it rambling if you climb up on the cannon? <laughs> no, I was saying if you get if you if we launch one guy out of a cannon. Never mind, Billy. That's not right. Well, you, you can ramble, you just can't fire. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, they never said I can't steal a cannon if on my own. Exactly. Where's no, that case? Yeah, 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 it's way up there. Oh, this is our highlight of the game. Fuck that. Forward! Oh, God. Uh, eighth, er, Let go! Well, we'll see where they yeah, take the gun. The Anyways, Union's starting to spread out. Looks like there's maybe starting to go around the right. We'll see how CSA tends to react. Uh, CSA should start running to the zone while they're pulling back. Because either 8th Connecticut here, they're going to go to that stone wall, or they're going to try to run up on the side, which either option works. Uh, they don't. They do have a flag. I didn't see it. It blended in very well. And here we go. CSA shifting. 
Not a whole lot in the safe house. Looks like Union's gonna go for that stone wall. Yeah. A couple CSA guys in the distance. Looks like they're just holding though on the artillery. And Union's gonna get a free stone wall here today. Maybe not. Where are they going? You either charge down the snake fence or you get the stone wall. At least that's my my take on things. I'm a very aggressive, at least when it comes to my opinion on strategy, is I like being aggressive. I like keeping the momentum going. The shooting down meta doesn't work as good as it used to, so that's why I love the charging. Uh, shooting, in my opinion, really can delay the inevitable. Eventually, the attackers are going to have to charge, so... That's just that's just my opinion on things. So, Seven Tennessee is holding the rocks. You just heard them say, uh, say they were going to fall back as the Union team is now pushing to the stone wall, and the CSA are going to let the Union have it. So, Union flip flopping sides. You used to not really see this strategy happen in the past because the stone wall this road here it was out of bounds but the boundaries got shifted at some point and now union can kind of run along the side of the stone wall it's about halfway to maybe three-fourths of the way through the road or maybe even the whole road i don't exactly remember but you can see the union starting to run up there yeah i think the out of bounds is just right over here so because i have a similar out of bounds with the players in game Right here, boys, right here, right here, right here. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Right here, and some CSA starting to shift over to engage. It's the um, right, Stone Wall right. Brigade. Seven Tennessee is performing on them. A lot of Union there. They're eventually going to charge. Let's see how long they decide to sit and wait though 32 minutes left union's almost down to engage So let's see. I mean, you have some Union in the center. Union's basically given up this side. First South Carolina, again, is charging in here. They might not. Second U.S. Charge, first Ohio. They got to look to their right. This might knock both sides down to engage. The CSA is about to hit as well. How do they not notice there's guys to their right? These Union guys are not communicating. Stabbing you. Hey, there's. Fuck you. 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 Well, they got, again, as I said a little earlier, they got, the first South Carolina guys got a few more kills than what they should have. But Fourth New Jersey moved up to the snake fence, starting to take shots. And both sides about to fall down to engage. Union hitting it first for almost 15 minutes into the match, 13 since the fighting began. And they were all crouching, not shooting. Maybe we're going to see a charge here soon. Oh, this looks sick. CSA shifting on the right side right now. Those poor timing as Union, as a team, is going to slam to these rocks. Um, Union not bothered. Those CSA guys are going to charge in. They're going to get that flag from behind. Seven Tennessee is, anyways. CSA on the top side of your screen about the charge in. Union flag is not down. It somehow got through. Not all of Union charged. And I think two mistakes happened here for Union because they're not going to win this. They didn't charge their whole team. If they, if those guys on the stone wall would have charged, Union would have won this charge. But actually, Union still wins the charge. Granted, not the whole CSA team was there. You have a lot holding back here. 
But Union could have won more. I mean, Union was dominating last map with uh, decreased numbers. So Union's holding. Uh, where are these guys? The Union artillery is running up, and they're going to try to take the CSA guns, and they have. And the rest of the Union off the stone wall rolling off. Down Union flag is going to get picked up. Fourth New Jersey's got to get over here. And it looks like they're moving the Artie. Now, I don't know if they're moving it just so they can't use it, but... Let's say Union's falling off. I mean, they got hit pretty hard. They dealt a good amount of damage, and that's reflected in the tickets right now. Union up by a fourth of a morale stage right now. So great charge on part of Union. Very cinematic. Uh, give me, give me goosebumps there. So, I that's the Union game plan. If the left isn't working for you, go to the right and do that. I, I can really appreciate the Union being able to adapt tonight. Because you'll see a lot of times, and I especially saw this earlier on when I started watching this event like a couple months ago. Teams would do a strategy, and even if it wasn't working, or it wasn't knocking the defenders down quick enough, it would they would still do the same strategy. And you, you have to adapt. You have to change your plan. If something's not working, try something else. If that new strategy doesn't work, that's fine. At least you tried something new. I would much rather you try something new and fail versus continuing to do the same old thing that's failing. So if you're going to do the same old thing that's failing you're gonna lose <laughs> so <laughs> might as well try something new and so as the Union team does very well on the right they're pushing up this left side again and CSA is kinda retaken uh, their original positions more so holding in the hay bales artillery instead of in the orchard and now if Union pushes up in the orchard again which I think they're going to just because they're all massing up that side they have to charge through all the way to the hay bales. Uh, they can they can definitely get around the cap point running around this side. And even if they run through the point, oh well. You have some tiny skirmish happening over on this side here right now. Not close to rambling, buddy. It's the 14th and 65th Illinois running up here. They have the, I don't want the flags all the way up here. Um, and he dies, so that's a lost flag for Union there. And this is just, uh, these are just unfortunate tickets. Especially uh, these last couple guys for Union, they just died all out of line. So maybe they saw that they outnumbered, but. Yeah, okay, this is great. I love it. Guys, regroup, regroup, recharge. 20 Georgia getting charged out right now. And, uh, back, 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 back. Oh, they're pulling back. Ah. Uh, I really like that charge. The shootout wasn't working the greatest for you. I mean, it was doing fine. It wasn't doing bad per se, but they weren't dealing a significant amount of damage. Granted, they have 25 minutes to knock the Confederates down. One and a quarter morale stage. That's plenty of time. We have a couple of Union out here. Which this Union, while I will say I don't necessarily like them being out ahead, on their the own. Line. They're distracting a good amount of CSA. First Ohio and fourth New Jersey. They're distracting seventh Tennessee and seventh South Carolina. And you got what 15, 20 dudes here against maybe 10 Union guys, so it's working. CSA almost had taken losses. First South Carolina is really far forward here. And 65th to 14th keep wanting to trying to hit this here. I mean, although these are getting out of lines for both sides, the out of lines generally favor the attacking team. 
Uh, Maddie's trying to get a flag that he lost a moment ago, and I think there was just a team kill there a second. Yeah, there was. No. Don't kill. What about the last guy on the fence? Oh, I missed a shot. I mean, let's see what some of the CSA is viewing there, shooting the Union in the Orchard right now. Friends are charging. Oh yeah, what the heck? First LAB, what are we doing here? Uh, CSA is taking losses, Union reinforcements streaming up to the top of the hill. Are they charging? And yeah, they're gonna. I love this move. Uh, they're charging in force. They're hitting. The CSA looks like on the top side of your screen. They're trying to run up from behind. CSA hopping over the stone wall. That's what you're seeing right now. They're starting to slam to the side of the the Union team right now. Yeah. Keep it up, 27. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. As Union's gonna fall to taking losses. And CSA win that charge pretty dominantly too. I mean, Union spearheaded a tiny area and just got kind of enclosed from all sides, but I like the charge. Keeping that pressure up, Union did have some tickets to burn, so I don't I don't mind that. And I don't know why, but the start of... They're rolling another gun back. I mean, where did they put the other gun? Did they just... Yeah, so it looks like they're just trying to disable CSI guns and prevent them from using them, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that too often. I, I heard Kentucky now. The seven Tennessee guys. Why? 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 How many tickets have the CSA that killed nobody? How many tickets have the CSA lost? Like here goes another one. And uh, I was gonna say before. Uh, we looked over on the side, but when a team hits the a new when the team falls to a new morale stage, or uh, so sorry, if they're high, very high, or they're very low in a morale stage, the bar moves really slowly. Uh, I think that's just because the bars extend past what we see on screen, which is very annoying. So you have some union pushing up the left side. You got a lot on the right going forward. Uh, it's a second U.S. Sharps moving that way. But it looks like the rest of the... So this might have been pre-planned in their coordination to go left and right, then left and right. You know, just keep hitting all the sides. Uh, that can be best guess. But CSA in this next charge is going to get very close to breaking, if not hit it. I work on boats for a living. Have you guys ever I seen SpongeBob SquarePants before? I'm basically talking like that pirate and I cannot turn it off. I'm a sexually progressive pirate. I believe my first mate should be a homosexual or I will not go sailing anymore. First man, take aim at the knee if you've got your load at the knee. Rise at the artillery, steady, and fire. 
Crack your knee, get your loads. Ooh, He's that was a good star break shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, Davy Jones is going crazy right now. <laughs> you may think you're autistic, but you've never... <laughs> You've never experienced my flavor. <laughs> You've never experienced my flavor of autism before. It's weaponized. It's weaponized all the way. Jackson, ready, boys! Take aim at Daddy! Rising Starboard, take aim E! Steady at the head! Fire! Lower at the knee! Lower at the knee! Step me to the bow, sir! Anyways, that's been two minutes of war, right? Hey, me? So, 3rd Kentucky, 7th Tennessee. Looks more like 3rd Kentucky. They're trying to get some flanky shots, but that's just going to bring down CSA. You have a lot of engagements going around on this side of the map right now, just shooting in. And, yeah. Okay, Union's got plenty of time. We'll probably just see a shoot down until the CSA hits breaking. Or maybe a little beforehand, but we might see the Union charge at that point. So, we got some CSA shooting off the hay bales right now towards... Union spawn. And then you got Union Snow Cactus here. He's just kind of looking looking at CSA guns and kind of seeing what they can do. So seeing if their shots are hitting, that's probably more than anything. And see Union's charging in. This will hit CSA in the breaking. And can they cap and win off the rip? Here they go. Oh, the CSA artillery guys are spawning at the wrong time. Resting pissed. Oh, it's CSA holding up here. The Union wall is just slamming through right now. As the engagement goes on, we twist his view right now. Charge is very close right now. Twista trying to get that flag. Ah, uh, it looks like CSA is going to prevail here. I mean, we'll see. Snow Cactus's view, he's letting rip that pistol as Union still drawing this fight out. Uh, unfortunately for them, though, it looks like this is going to be it. No cactus kind of popping off though. Yeah, like three, four kills there, at least in the like the last five seconds that I looked at that. So Union's got two down flags right now. Oh, uh, Fourth New Jersey is attempting to cap the point. I don't think this is gonna work, but I, I appreciate the attempt. I mean, we'll see if CSA realizes what's going on because CSA right now is going to be in a bit of a, okay, we need to reform, take a minute. Some of them not. Fourth Texas starting to collapse. L first LAB. And so uh, CSA overwhelmed Fourth New Jersey quickly and, wow. So two downed USA flags, 15 minutes left. Union's almost at breaking, but Confederates halfway through breaking. Union roughly five-eighths of a morale stage ahead if we want to get specific. Could really say half, but it's more than a half. So We'll see if Union just goes and tries to cap the point right away. They have plenty of time to shoot the CSA down. Let's see how the CSA want to defend this. They have a lot of guys holding on point, a lot holding back. They look very disorganized from above. When I mean disorganized, there's just a lot of flags everywhere. There's no, I guess, distinct lines. There's kind of two distinct blobs, but... CSA do not need to hold this far forward. Uh, they can hold a little... Yeah, you can hear them say fall back. I think they're going to fall back off point, but... They might need to hold this now as the Union team is turning their direction. Oh, my 
missed. Oh my, just look at that POV. Holy cow. As the Union team is moving on to point, or actually they're running past point. Looks like they're just trying to knock the CSA down to last stand. They're winning the point in the process. CSA knocks the Union into breaking. Some Union in the distance charging CSA guns. Uh, I think CSA is going to win this, but they're going to hit last stand. Yeah. Union, good job on these guys. Cough and kill and rich. They're getting the flags out. Uh, and even if they die, which at least, yeah, cough and get, rip him. Uh, they die close to their line. But even then, it doesn't matter. CSA any second now is going to hit by a stand. Any one of these kills. It just lagged real bad, so I thought, yeah, there it is. Drummer boy. So, CSA hit last stand, Union up by three-fourths of a morale stage. All the CSA guys that die, they don't come back. This was a decisive Union victory. They had us in the first quarter, not going to lie. But the last three quarters, meaning the second half of the first round, the whole second round, the Union dominated. So we'll see how Union play this. They got 12 minutes, 12 and a half, really. They can shoot down their opponent, or they can just charge in again. Either option works. Uh, they might hit final push on the charge, but they'll wipe a good chunk of the CSA. I like children, I like teeth. What? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That, you know, there's just some moments you just gotta sit back and just listen. So, Union are gonna go through and wipe with the CSA right now. A couple of guys sitting on point capping. You can see that on the top through the compass. They might just end this though before they cap. Not a whole lot of Union staying on point. It looks like they're just trying to wipe. A lot charging the artillery, so. And they're pushing our north! I don't know why. I mean, Union could just try to cap and win. They don't need to do this, but. It doesn't really matter. Either option works. Either option works. It's just uh, nitpicking for no reason, so. I was some team kills there. Union artillery hitting there in front. So Union going to the point to end this and wow. Union had a very bad first half of the first round, but second half of that first round and the whole second round, they dominated the CSA. 
This was a dominating performance, and if I was on the Union, I'd be very satisfied with how I played tonight. The biggest thing for CSA is I really liked how they played at the beginning of the first round. It's just they did not adapt to uh, what the Union did. And we kind of, Piper Farm can be very hard for uh, the CSA. Um, I think it was fascinating that Union hit both sides of flank back and forth and back and forth. CSA just couldn't really wipe the Union. Big ticket loss for CSA tonight was just the tiny groups going out and doing their own thing. That's the killer. But besides that, thank you all for watching. This was a blast to watch. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel more, check out the, with the description where we have our Patreon. We live stream everything there. You can advertise your regiment on our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. But besides that, we got our Discord and merch there. And we will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your night.